so we fill up this whole screen with this awesome dot matrix effect. Oh, so beautiful. It's like we're using this whole, it's an awesome experience. Hey guys, it's Matt Akins. I wanted to show you my new Game Boy Dot Matrix full screen shader. A couple years ago, I updated the Game Boy shaders in RetroArch to support color. And it really created this cool, nostalgic kind of feel, even though a device like that never really existed, a Game Boy Color with a dot matrix grid. I think it looked awesome. But one of the common things was, ah, it doesn't fit my full screen. Because of the way the shader worked, it forced integer scale. So depending on your device resolution, there could be some pretty chunky borders around it. So I worked to make a full screen version so you could use more of that screen that you paid for. So why don't we dive in and take a look. This is the Retroid Pocket Classic. I love this device. You can go to RetroArch, Online Updater, and Update Slang Shaders. I've already done that. And you will have access to these shaders. Let me show you. Let's open up Great Game Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. All right, and then it's already loaded in there, but shaders, load preset, shaders slang, handheld, Game Boy Color dot matrix. Okay, and by default, it is now in full screen mode. And what I like to do is on the Retroid Pocket Classic, because the aspect ratio is so close, I'll actually just fill up the whole screen instead of doing core provided. So you can see that's the actual aspect, but I actually like to just go to full. It's kind of an aspect ratio prime most of the time, but this works out for that. And so we fill up this whole screen with this awesome dot matrix effect. Okay, so you can see the pixels there. Look how good this looks. Oh, so beautiful. First, let's, let's take a look. Look at that. Right on. Okay. Ooh, looks good, right? Now, let's go to the shader parameters here. Now, this is what it originally was. Um, it forced integer scale, so you would have kind of these borders around your device. On the Retroid Pocket Classic, it's not too bad, but still, it's just not a very big screen. So you you can actually now go to full screen mode and just take advantage of that. And it looks really similar. So even if we, let's enforce the aspect ratio so you can tell even more. Yeah, so you might say, well, Matt, this looks the same, and exactly, that's the point. But now we can take advantage of that whole screen. Um, it actually works by, uh, instead of each pixel on the original Game Boy taking up a, um, a perfect scaled up number of pixels on the screen to create that virtual pixel, uh, we use anti-aliasing. So I used anti-aliasing to blow up that pixel grid to any aspect ratio size. Now, there's a lot of other things that I've done with this new updated shader, and I wanted to show off some of those. First of all, you can go to the original pixel perfect mode, but you can also choose freely the integer scale that you want. In the old version, this was not implemented properly, so now you can even overscale it, pew, 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 go right back to full screen. Um, Let's go into Mario Tennis. So here we are. Look, I mean, this is amazing because we're using the full screen. Now you'll notice, okay, look at that. It's like we're using this whole, it's an awesome experience. And that difference in aspect ratio is so small that you, you can just really enjoy that whole screen. I love this game. I played this game as a kid. Go to the grass court. 
Oh yeah, and you can see the detail there. There's that nice drop shadow effect. Parameters you can play with. Different shadow offsets. That looks pretty good. And I recommend to not do this with color correction because of the way the shader handles that. Okay. Um, now, there are some games where you might notice um, some grid artifacts. There's a full list of settings here for full screen appearance. So you can go softer, sharper. On a screen like this, it's going to be harder to tell. But if you're in a game with, with some blacks, you can get some grid distortion. So you can adjust the shape of the pixels from circular to square. Now square is more authentic because pixels weren't circles, um, but circles create less artifacts. You can adjust the sharpening amount, pixel softness, and the pixel size, which does have the side effect of washing out the screen. So play with this to your desires here. Now, I also wanted to show you some original Game Boy games. Okay, let's load up the shader. Now we can go to Game Boy Pocket, for example. And again, we have this full screen effect. That looks really good. Oh yeah, and look at that, the latency. Now the original was here. Oops. Look at all that screen real estate we're missing. Looks good, but ooh, now we're full screen. <laughs> it looks so nice. You can hot swap too now uh, as a part of this update between the different palettes. So we can go to Game Boy Pocket High Contrast, Black and White, even more high contrast, original Game Boy DMG, for those of you who <laughs> like that sort of thing. And then two variants of the Game Boy Light, which I really like these ones. These look awesome. You can see the difference between the Game Boy Light. There's kind of a greener one and blue. So that can be hot swap. Before those you had to be accessed through different presets. Now you can load up the shader and swap it out as you go. Look at that, That's so cool. We're filling up that whole screen. We can also see it here again in proper aspect ratio. Ooh, that looks good too. I like that. Man, this looks so good. Oh yeah. I forget how tiny the question marks are in this game. Have any of you seen um, Super Mario Brothers Mini? They took the NES version and they scaled it down for Game Boy Color in a different way than the deluxe version Nintendo did. And they scaled down the aspect ratios and the... I'm sorry, they scaled down the resolution and all the boxes were the size they were in this game, so that's why... Oh man, so okay, let's explore some of these other presets. We looked at Game Boy Color dot Matrix. This was Game Boy Pocket, but we swapped between basically Game Boy, Game Boy Light, and even Game Boy um, Light Mode. So I wanted to talk more about Game Boy Light Mode. So this looks like a really <laughs> excruciating palette to look at um, because it's black and white. So you may be wondering, Matt, why why this preset? And um, I actually didn't find a good use for it until doing this version. So I'm going to put the aspect ratio back to how I like it. Now we can go down to Quick Menu, Core Options, GB Colorization. Go Internal. And then Internal Palette, we're going to go Pixel Pack 1. And scroll down here, this is the most intuitive setting menu I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you actually want to toggle under shader parameters, color mode. Now boom. Look at, you can swap between all these freaking awesome palettes. 
and these are hotkeys automatically set. Look at this, there's Tron. And this is a great example of with a dark grid, you can notice that um, the pixels on the grid kind of fall apart. But that's when we can go into, let's reduce the sh sharpening mode and go to circle pixels. So circle pixels, sharpening amount 50. It's a lot more tolerable. I'll reset that. This is a fun one too, Pip Boy. And this, I believe, applies to integer mode too. Yeah, you can have a harsh border there, but pretty cool. And what you can do too in Gambate is tell it what if you want the device to be Game Boy or Game Boy Color. Save your configuration, and quit. We could come over here and load up a lot of Game Boy Color games have the uh, Game Boy original support. Yeah, here's one of my favorite games for the Game Boy Color. This nice dot matrix shader looks so good. We could load this up in Game Boy original mode. Look at that, we can change the palette here. That would really see fit. I like matching the palette to the device sometimes. That's a fun one. I think it just looks so cool. And actually, this we can make even better with. Okay, pixel settings. Color. This is a uh, Game Boy Pocket, so Game Boy, so black and white is even more vivid. You can really have a lot of fun with this, customizing these palettes. So again, quick menu, you load in Gambate through quick menu, core options, GB colorization internal. You can set the internal palette here or use your trigger hotkeys to cycle between the palettes. I like the pixel shift ones a lot, so we can see. And then over on the shader side, you can load um, shader slang, handheld, and that can be light mode. Then you can enable color on that, and that'll use these wonderful palettes see if we can find one to match. This is interesting too, they have these shaders that sort of simplify it. <laughs> That's a good one too, Virtual Boy. These are just the standard ones it comes with. When you would put a game in the Game Boy Color and press the arrows. Inverted is cool. Anyway, I like kind of matching it to the device. That's a fun one too. Let's take a look at more games here. All right. I think it looks so good. I'm on my bicycle where they get my... There we go. Be careful not to double up on LCD latency with your core. Okay. And one drop shadow. So again, this is a new one. I like how this kind of reduces the harshness, harshness of the whites, especially in games like Pokemon Crystal, where the background is white a lot. So this really makes it look good. Again, the original here was 
lot smaller. So that's the original. Looks pretty good. And we can go full screen mode. Oh gosh, he's gonna kill my bird here. How do I get off my bike? There we go. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for checking it out. This is Game Boy Color and Game Boy Dot Matrix Shaders with full screen mode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Can't wait for you to try this. Just go to Online Updater, Update Slang Shaders, go to the Handhelds folder, and all the Game Boy presets there. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks.